from Deputy Jennifer Mernan O'Connor, and she wishes to discuss an update on public transport facilities in County Carlow. Are you Minister for Transport now tonight as well? You are. Mer Minister is Minister for Everything. <laughs> Thank you, Karen Kiorla. Uh, Minister, in July 2019, Irish Rail downgraded Bagnellstown train station to an automatic station. Since then, there is no station master on site and the maintenance of the station was subcontracted out. But in July 2017, the station was actually thought so beautiful, on post, captured in a commemorative stamp. So they actually put the building, do you know what I mean? It's great to have a, a commemorative stamp um, of the building. The beautiful stone build station, which was designed by architect Stanton Wood, who also designed Houston Station, was actually the station's master's home for many years, and it was and continues to be an important part of the fabric of Bagnellstown. To say that it is not busy enough to keep it manned is a slap in the face of a rural town with people in it, who matter just as much as people in the larger towns and cities. Just last year, the station was added on the Waterford-Dublin route to the early morning commute, as it is an important stop, as it is, Minister, as you know, an important town. The move to self-service this station was, I believe, and is a retrograde step. While Irish Rail have a staff member uh, to disembark at all stations to help with machine tickets and accessibility issues, there is nobody there before a train comes to help those who need it with machine tickets. Worse, the toilets are rarely opened. Steps like these show that we are slowly and surely eroding the rural way of life. Around 140 commuters use the Bagnellstown station and now that the restrictions have been lifted and work from home phased out, more and more computers will be using this service. Transport poverty and accessibility are social and environment issues. More than one in four people living with disabilities do not use public transport due to accessibility reasons. Although there is a promise of a customer service operator on board to help commuters with mobility and other issues, this is often not the case and the driver has to get out to assist which cause delays. This kind of reduced service, I believe, will further prevent use of public transport at a time when we need to be looking at ways to cut our carbon footprint. In 2022, to have a station without assistance, without toilet, is just scandalous. Can you tell me, Minister, what can we do to sort this? And just um, on while I, while I do want to welcome is um, that there is going to be a public consultation on need for extra carriages from Waterford to Carlow, Bagnellstown to Dublin. And I would ask, my understanding is that this is going to be advertised shortly so that people can have their say. And one of the biggest issues with um, the, the train that comes from Waterford, by the time it gets to Waterford and get, then gets down to Bagnellstown and gets to Carlow, it's absolutely full and people are actually standing. And I know during COVID things had changed, so not a lot of people were traveling as much, but we need these extra carriages. And I would ask that when this consultation um, is being launched, that it would be a public launch, it would be much advertised and people are aware of it because we don't want people to come back and say after, oh, I didn't know this, because we need to cut on our carbon footprint, Minister, as you know yourself. So I would like to see what you would come back to me with on this. And thank you very much, Minister. Minister. Thank you very much, Deputy. Thank you, Kian Corla. Um, I uh, would like to thank Deputy Murnane O'Connor for raising this topic, which I'm taking on behalf of Minister Ryan. From the outset, I would like to clarify that the Department of Transport has responsibility for policy and overall funding in relation to public transport. However, it is not involved in the day-to-day -day operation of public transport services, including matters related to public transport facilities in train stations. I understand that the Deputy's question is specifically in relation to toilet facilities in Winnebiog uh, train station, and I, w I wish to advise the Deputy that issues such as this are an operational matter for Ear Road Erin, and the Minister for Transport has no role in such matters. Nevertheless, the Deputy may wish to note that as part of the overall ongoing investment in the rail network, the Department of Transport recently secured government approval for additional funding for the infrastructure manager multi-annual contract, as you alluded to. This IMAC provides the funding framework for the protection and renewal of our railway infrastructure. And you spoke about the beautiful building and the fact that it was on a commemorative stamp, and it is a beautiful building. With the increased funding secured over the five years of the contract out to 2024, just over 1.1 billion euro in exchequer funding will be made available to support delivery. This funding will increase service reliability and punctuality, improve journey times and ensure continued safety on rail services across the network. 
There is also a new National Train Control Centre currently under construction with completion and full commissioning by 2024. This control centre will completely transform the management of the rail network as compared to today and it will allow for the future expansion of services in the year ahead. These investments are complemented by the 41 new rail carriages which are under construction with expected delivery to commence in mid-2022. There is significant investment underway in the rail network and services to continually improve the attractiveness of rail transport to customers. Regarding the deputies' queries specifically in relation to the facilities at Munibyog Bagnastown Station, Irnud Oyern has advised the Department of Transport that the company's position over the past couple of years has been to move to online or ticket machine ticket sales. Now almost 90% of tickets are required digitally. In July 2019, Bagnastown Station moved from being partially staffed to a full self-service station. Erin Road Air and have advised that they do not generally provide toilet facilities at stations which are unmanned, as such facilities tend to experience a disproportionate amount of vandalism and incidents of antisocial behaviour. Erin Road Air and are rebalancing their customer service provision with greater onboard services, including toilets and fewer facilities located in stations. As regular customers on the Waterford to Dublin route will know, Erin Road Air now has dedicated customer service officers on board over 80% of services on this route to assist passengers. Furthermore, there are ticket sales available at the station via the ticket vending machine and the customer service officers will be able to assist people with Department of Social Protection tickets, seating, service information and more on board. This means that there will always be assistance for wheelchair customers at Bagnastown with the onboard customer service officers there to help boarding and alighting. Furthermore, in relation to facilities at Carlow, two new lifts have recently been installed at Carlow Station, including a new footbridge in January this year. Erin Road Erin are currently in discussions with the National Transport Authority and Carlow County Council regarding car park expansion, including bicycle parking for Carlow Station. Finally, Erin Road Erin have advised that the fleet that operates the Waterford route is their newest and more modern fleet, the intercity rail car, and all trains, all trains which serve Carlow and Bagnastown stations have toilets on board for customer comfort. Thank you, Minister. And um, I do want to compliment the, the lifts um, at Carlow Railway Station because it was so important um, that we have them and, and it is 2022 and I know they were a long time coming but it, it is a big investment and I know that uh, the car parking facilities up there are being looked at but I just I suppose need to clarify in the regards to Bagnallstown, Winnebiog uh, and the railway station there it was actually uh, wheelchair users that came to me and um, that felt that it was unfair that they could not access the toilets in the railway station itself. And I think we have to be very mindful, while everything is going online, and, and we understand that too, but we can't be closing down our, our rural uh, railway stations or having it half manned or having a situation where a person with a disability or a wheelchair user is not able to use it. And I, I don't think we need to go in that place, Minister. So I would be very mindful, as you would, that you know, we do keep these rural towns going. I mean, as I said, the, the railway station itself is part of it's part of the Bagnalls town. It, it has always been there. It has always been a great service. And when that actually closed, it was a big loss to the people of Bagnalls town. While the service was going, it wasn't the way it originally had been. And it does affect a certain amount of people, Minister. So I would ask that uh, Irish Rail would look at this. And I would ask that we, you know, we don't start a precedent now of concentrating on our our big, like our Houston stations or, you know, the, the big city ones and that we forget our rural, small little railway stations that have been the lifeblood of our community, that have been there before time and have been just absolutely given a great service to the community and to the people. And I think that would be my biggest worry. But as I said, Minister, it was actually wheelchair users that came to me about the railway station and I, I just have concerns. But thank you for your answer. Thank you. Deputy Minister. Thanks, Deputy. And you do raise a very valid point. The decision to move to a self-service station at Winnibyog in 2019 was part of a wider decision by the company, so that's Erin Road Erin, to rebalance their operations. And the Minister suggests that maybe, um, as it is an operational man matter for Erin Road Erin, it would be very well placed for you um, to contact them in relation to this very issue. 
experience of your no, ear node and has have been that as i've said that toilet facilities at unmanned stations attract higher levels of antisocial behavior as well as more incidents of vandalism however as you, as we all know that if you're waiting for a train and you're short taken it's very important that the toilet is in operation and that it is available to you and i suppose you know it's all well and good at the the, the, the trains and, and 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 i know the service um from from um, Waterford to Carlo to Dublin and um, that the trains are of the very highest qualities they're the newest and the most modern fleet and they do have um, and Deputy Marco Catholic would know this very very well and they do have excellent facilities on board but I do take on board the point that you make in relation to somebody who's waiting at the station and it is a beautiful location um, I do think it would be well placed for you um, you know to, to raise this issue with Erin Road Erin and I, I have no doubt the Disability Federation of Ireland would also support your call thank you very much Deputy Thank you very much. No, that's true.